Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and I've been in pursuit of making my ultimate dream desk setup for years now. I've been adding things, removing things, simplifying things, it's been a crazy process. And you've all provided me with some great ideas and input on how to make my desk setup even better. So today, finally, I'll be showing you the final result. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, a place to help you make 2020 the year where you learn those creative skills you've always wanted to. Hit the first link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity today. So there it is, right there behind me, there's the desk setup itself. And we're gonna start out with the actual desk first today. It's a standing desk from a brand called Ergonofis. I have the 24 by 48 inch shift desk with a matte white tabletop and black legs. But you can also get versions with real wood tabletops that are stunning too, as well as other colors as well. Plenty of customization. Now, I have very limited floor space, that's why I chose the smaller desk model, but it's the perfect amount of space that I need to get all my work done. The desk is beautifully minimal, well built, and super quiet when raising or lowering. The controller is also right up front with preset buttons so you can program your sit position and your stand position very easily. I like to stand a lot when working at home and having the flexibility of sitting and standing with this desk is game changing. When I am sitting though, my main office chair is the Herman Miller Embody in all black. It's a beautiful looking chair, but it's also amazingly comfortable as well. And for someone like me who has lifelong, terrible back problems, sitting in this chair for long periods of time just feels great. Now for the computer in this setup, I'm still sticking with a laptop, but this time it's the new 16-inch MacBook Pro. Now I do a lot of work at home, but I also work a lot away from home as well, at school, coffee shops, libraries, I like to be able to take all my files and all of the power this computer has with me on the go. The new keyboard and slightly larger display sound like minor changes on paper, but they've been amazing for getting work done. And this computer is an absolute legend for cutting through 4K video, editing huge graphical projects in Photoshop. It's insane. It's basically my dream laptop come to reality. And since I wanted to actually maximize my desk space, since it's a fairly small desk, I have this Vivo laptop tray mounted beneath the desk where the MacBook is actually tucked away. There are holes at the bottom of the tray so the computer can breathe, and the tray can hold up the laptop's weight no problem. Okay, I know you've been waiting, let's talk about the monitor setup here. We have two of LG's ultra-wide monitors. The bottom one is the curved 49WL95C, and it's a 49-inch diagonal panel with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 while well, the top one is the 34UC98, which is a 34-inch diagonal with a resolution of 3440 by 1440. Instead of having multiple monitors beside each other, an ultra-wide gives a much more seamless look with no middle bezel. Both displays connect to the MacBook with USB-C, so no adapter needed, and also charge the laptop as well. The monitors have very minimal side bezels, the panels are absolutely gorgeous, vibrant, and bright. There's plenty of connectivity on the back with USB ports and other ports as well, and having a curved display really does bring the content towards your face. Especially on the left and right of both the monitors, that content wraps around and comes more towards you versus a flat panel. To have the monitors in this crazy arrangement, I'm using Vivo's dual vertical monitor stand, and these monitors are super heavy, so this really shouldn't work, but the stand is built just so well that it does, and holds the displays in place perfectly. Now you're probably saying, Knoopsy, what the f are you doing with this monitor setup? It's absolutely insane. Well, hear me out. The whole bottom monitor can be used for an entire video timeline when editing in a final cut. You can also use the sides of the display for even more content and windows. While the top display can also be used to actually have a full, huge preview of the video I'm working on, or have a YouTube video playing, or music, or other tabs as well. Just having a main display for the main piece of content I'm working on, and having a second display for other windows, really helps me focus on just the task at hand, and have everything else and all the distractions high up. Once you just sit for about a day and work with this setup, you can really see how the dual ultra-wide displays take productivity to the absolute next level. Now I don't actually have any speakers here part of this setup because I just use the monitor speakers which are pretty good for watching videos or listening to music, but for video editing I pop in a pair of earbuds for a much more accurate, true sound. On top of the main display I have the BenQ Screen Bar LED Lamp. 
it just clips onto the monitor and plugs into a USB port around back. Instead of taking up desk space with a more traditional lamp, this puts the lamp out of the way but it is still useful. There are controls up top, and the lamp doesn't actually put any glare on your screen thanks to the very thoughtful angle, and it's still very bright. For some extra and much more accessible ports, I have the 12 South Stay Go adapter. It's attached to the front of the monitor with adhesive tape, and this brings additional ports front and center to the display, so it's easy to plug in SD cards and USB drives. I also have a Samsung T5 SSD attached to the base of this adapter with a Velcro command strip so I can pull it off, take it on the go, and when I get home, stick it on and plug it in. Okay, peripherals, so the mouse and the keyboard. The mouse I went with is the new Logitech MX Master 3, the first redesign Logitech has done with its mouse in a few years, and it looks hella sleek. You still have the excellent ergonomic grip, all the customizable buttons, dual scroll wheels, which kind of seems strange at first, but the thumb scroll wheel is incredible for scrolling through video timelines or panning around in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Beneath the mouse is a mouse pad from Satechi that I wrapped in a yellow skin, and the keyboard is the Vinpok TapTech Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. It's compact and minimal with a great typing experience, and the keys can feel a little bit small at first, but I got used to them very quickly. One of the biggest features though is the RGB lighting here. There are plenty of colorful patterns that make the keyboard look just so cool when typing. Also on the desk is a cool wireless charger from 12 South called the Hi Rise Wireless. Since most of the devices I use are Qi wireless charging capable, this works amazing. Plus, it's the best looking portrait Qi wireless charger I've ever seen. You can also pop out the charger portion and take it on the go with you as a portable wireless charger. It's pretty sick. There's also a tiny Lenovo smart clock and it's just the most adorable piece of tech I've ever seen. It's also very useful too. It tells the time, you can set alarms, talk to Google, play music, it's amazing. We also have some other little small things on the desk as well to add some of my own personalization like the D-Brand Cube, a pencil holder from Amazon, a little toy figure of ya boy, and a little Frank Ocean card as well. For a bit of extra color and ambience, part of this desk setup, I've also added a Hue RGB light strip plus that just adds a nice kind of mood and atmosphere to the overall setup, and I have the lights matched up with the color of my wallpaper just for a more consistent look. Beneath the desk, there's thankfully some cable management, and we have the IKEA Signum cable tray holding this power bar from a brand called Nectech, and this power bar has rotating outlets so you can easily position them based on where the cables need to be plugged in. And the power bar terminates into a single AC cable that roots through this cable snake from Amazon, just so it looks a bit neater than having a single cable hanging down. So that is my dream desk setup made into a reality. Standing desk, laptop based setup for on the go work flexibility, dual ultra wide monitors, simple and clean peripherals with smart cable management and organization, as well as just an overall personalized touch. It's a setup that takes my vision of a dream workstation to the absolute limits, and it has been incredible for productivity and just getting sh done. This video was brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community with over 22,000 opportunities to explore and learn about things you're actually interested in. Like photography, graphic design, video editing, illustration, and everything in between, it's all on Skillshare. And it's all taught by creative pros who give you actual projects to work on while also getting support from your fellow creative classmates. And learning on Skillshare is not a chore. Classes are engaging and straight to the point to help you fit learning into your everyday life. My life has been crazy busy over the last little while, but I've still been able to actually take classes throughout the week, like one of my personal favorites, Bowgasm by Vassian Katro. I actually made the desktop wallpaper you've seen throughout this video with help from one of Vassian's classes. It's a really cool and practical class. Hit the first link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. And after that, it's just less than $10 a month. Get learning and creating today with Skillshare. So what do you think of this desk setup? Any thoughts, any feedback? What should I get rid of? What should I add here? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you for watching.